Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, how the hell are you? Hopefully you guys are enjoying your Christmas holidays, your holidays in general. We are sitting on, what day is it today? December 28th. There is a game tonight. The San Jose Sharks will host the Oilers. The Oilers are finally off their Christmas break. But for now, we're going to do a Christmas and New, Year, New Year's praises and gifts. So what we do here, this will be episode 181, is we praise those that have done well and have earned much respect. We're not going to go McDavid, Dreisaitl, the huge... We're, we're, we're going to go off the board, the unsung type of people. It'd be way too easy to say McDavid 1, Dreisaitl 2, and then we move to 3, 4, 5, and 6. We're going to skip all that. We're also going to do the bad. That's what the gifts are, is the players that we should be expecting more from as the season progresses or progresses, depending on what part of the world or what part of the country you live in. So here's a simple little graphic. For that, thank you, DW, for making this awesome graphic. As you see here, the praises of the Santa Hats. Who's winning on Sun Heroes? Of course, you see there, Mr. Edmonton Oilers himself right now. Zach, I'm going to do everything for his team. No worries, I'm going to do everything for his team. 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 Look at the numbers, as they say. Look at the numbers. Numbers don't lie. They're actually pretty good. Without CC, I don't think Nurse is very good. Just like Kulak. Like, come on, guys. Kulak's been playing with Broberg this year. He's with DeHarnay. He's the veteran trying to get these young guys working. Right? So let's going to move on, move on as we do because, hey, we're never stale. Never stale, never stop. Got to get this done rather quickly because, like I said before, there is a big game tonight. Oh, before I, before I get into too crazy mode, I'm going to duck out of the way here for a second. That's right, I'm going to duck out of the way. A little ducky ducky roo. Now, honorable mention. Oh, I'm going to turn my TV off here because... Honorable mention, we're going to say Holland, Coffee, and Knobloch. Let, let's not let's not sugarcoat it, folks. Without those guys, we wouldn't be winning right now. Holland did make the move that needed to be made. I know people are still, oh, that's up. People are still upset by it, but it is what it is. Coffee. He's, he's doing something with that defense, I'm telling you what. Um, moving along, we got Knobloch. Coach comes in. He's not been doing a bad job. Not a bad job at all. Again, I'm going to turn this TV off very quick just so that you guys can see Knobloch. <coughs> Without the screen. Now we got the gifts. We got what needs to improve. Obviously, number one and two are the goaltending situation. Goalies need to be better. Goalies need to improve. Absolutely. freaking lutely Then the third one, we need Brown. We need Brown in the second half to be Brown of the Washington Capitals, the Ottawa Senators. We need Brown to be better. Number five, Dylan Holloway is back in a blue practice jersey. What does that mean? It means he could be back in the lineup as soon as the end of the road trip. Could be back in the lineup tonight. We'll find out when the lineups are introduced. And sixth, finally, but not least, trade edition, trade edition, trade edition, trade edition, trade edition. Oilers need to make a trade. Oilers need to move some cap space out to get cap space in. 
they need to get better on the back end. Absolutely need a better. It sounded like they need a top six because unfortunately Brown isn't it. Kane isn't working out too well. They need a top six, they need a bottom six, and they need a top defenseman to help out with the goals against. Although, like I said, CC and Kulak are doing good for what they are doing, for what they are. Oh, oh, by the way, surprise. Got myself some lights. Isn't that pretty? Happy Christmas. Merry Christmas to me. So yeah, some of you guys were asking for flashy lights. Here you guys go. Merry Christmas to myself. Thank you to my beautiful wife for getting them for me. I think it's cool. Some of you guys might not, but I think it's pretty sick. Anyways, guys, that's it. That's everything I got to talk about, guys. For, for me and all of us at Oilers After Dark, my name is Matt. Thank you for watching. What are your thoughts? Do you think the Oilers should praise the play, six players I, we have mentioned? Should we be gifts to the six players and the five players and the trade additions that we mentioned? What are your praises? Who are your gifts of Cole or otherwise? Who on this team needs to step up and be better? Who on this team should be praised for their hard work and dedication? Again, my name is Matt for Oilers After Dark. From all of us here, have yourselves a happy new year. We will see you tonight live when San Jose takes on the Oilers. San Jose played last night and got whooped by L.A. Let's hope the Oilers can give them back-to-backs. Back-to-back L's. Oilers be rolling. Riding a three-game winning streak right now. Sorry, no, sorry, two-game winning streak. My bad. It's been a, it's been a minute. The Oilers beat Jersey and beat the Rangers. Lost to the Islanders. So so far in three games on the road trip, they're two and one. Not too shabby. Not too bad. I will have the updated standings later tonight on the live stream. Be there. See you then. Bye.